So I had to take out a small personal loan to get it done, but I finally got myself a brisket to smoke on my Old Country Pitts Pecos. So this is gonna be my very first brisket on an offset smoker, so I am super excited to do this. So let's get to it. So I have this 16 pound Costco Prime brisket here, and man, oh man, this brisket was $4.69 a pound. So all in all, it came out to $75. I'm begging at this point, brisket prices, please come down. This channel is not monetized. I do not have any sponsors. I mean, I am literally burning money here. I don't know what the heck I'm doing on this offset. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Let's get the gloves on first. Gotta be sanitary, you know? It's got this like weird white crusty stuff on it. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it doesn't smell bad. So I don't know if you guys know in the comments, uh, what is this stuff, then please let me know. So pretty standard in terms of trimming this brisket. I have a video on how to trim a brisket and how I like to do it. So I'll have that on the screen right now. So I'm not gonna go super into detail on what I'm gonna do, but one thing I am gonna say is that in terms of the Mohawk for this butcher work, it's pretty much already cut off, but I'm gonna make sure to cut it off completely because I want this brisket to be as even as possible. And I'll explain why later. <laughs> okay, turns out that I'm a moron. This is actually the side of the mohawk, but in my defense, I mean, look at this brisket. Like, the way it was butchered, it's already so even. Like, it was really hard to tell. But anyways, again, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the mohawk. <clears throat> Yo, it is like so cold outside right now. That's why I'm wearing a jacket and my hands are like freezing. Like, I barely have control of my fingers right now. It's a pretty bad scalp right here, but there's a very thin patch of fat and it kind of had like gray black meat on it. So I just went ahead and took that off. Always save your trimmings. Okay, so the reason why I cut off the mohawk and wanted to make this as even as possible is because I'm actually gonna split this in half. That way I have two separate briskets that I can practice with. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this thing up. Like that. Eh, close enough. Yo, look at the marbling on that point. Look at like wagyu. So pieces aren't perfectly even. This one has a little bit more flat meat while this one has a little bit more point meat, but good enough for me. So again, we're only gonna need one of these halves to cook today. So I'm gonna put this one away. And then there was one. Okay, so binder time using soy sauce because I'm Asian. And then seasoning. So we're gonna go first pepper. Always gotta get the sides. Salt. And then Lowry's, Jerby style. And our beautiful half brisket is ready for the smoker. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on once the pit hits 275. So since the last video, I've learned a lot about this offset, not only from just playing around with it when I made the pork belly, but also from the comment section. So to get this started, first of all, we have our nice coal bed. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a thinner piece and move it like that and basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to create a support for this thicker piece what I noticed on my last cook is that this fire ran a lot cleaner when I had the log kind of leaning up against the wall so I'm propping it up on top of this log and on the side of the wall so there's plenty of uh, airflow that can go under it I'm just gonna keep stacking logs kind of on the base of this coal bed and then on the side of the smoker and just use that to maintain the temp at 275 for the entire cook okay so our pit is up to temp so the gauge is actually reading 250 but where I'm gonna to place the meat it's actually at about 275 and that was the mistake i made when i made my pork belly the bottom got a little crunchy because i was going off of the gauge temperature which said 275 but in reality it was probably closer to about 300 so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on 
Also, I'm smoking this fat side up and I'm gonna make sure to put the point side closest to the firebox. That way, when the heat comes up over the meat, it'll touch the point first and that will help to not dry the flat out. Also, because this is my first time smoking a brisket on the offset smoker, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a crutch. So I have some Wagyu beef tallow right here. So I'm going to use this when I wrap the brisket. That way, if I dry it out, at least it'll have a nice moisture to it and that nice, Wagyu flavor. So it's been about three hours and this brisket is ready to wrap. It was temping at about 168, uh, 170 in the flat and the crust is looking mighty fine. Oh man, it is so cold outside that the tallow I melted actually seized up. So I need to get this warm again. Okay, it took like 20 seconds, but the beef tallow is completely melted. Okay, so let's pour this beef tallow on. Rub it in, and then I'm gonna take the lean side of the brisket, put it right on top of that. Take my beautiful spray. Super tight. Okay. And then back on the pit it goes. Okay, the brisket is rested and it's time to cut and eat this thing. Just like every other barbecue day, I did not get a chance to eat, so I'm so excited to give this a try. I have no idea why, but today of all days is like the coldest day it has been in Tennessee since I moved here this summer. So it was kind of tough keeping the pit at 275. It was like really had to get that fire ripping and roaring and feeding it logs, but I did a lot better this time around of maintaining the fire. So I think this is gonna turn out pretty good, but let's find out. Oh. All right, so I know that the grain of the meat is going this way. So I need to cut it like this. So I don't know if you can see that, but it almost looks like it has a double smoke ring. Like there's a kind of like a pink band in the middle. Very interesting. So off the bat, as you can see from the steam and just feeling it right now, it's like piping hot. I really should have let this rest a little bit longer, but I'm running out of daylight. I can feel it, it's very tender, but a lot of the juice has escaped onto my cutting board and inside of the cooler it was in, but it is what it is. Okay, so because this is my first brisket, I wanna try each part of the brisket. So I'm gonna do the flat, the point, and then the burnt ends, and then I'll give my thoughts as I go. So let's start off with the flat. Not gonna lie, it looks pretty dry. Let me just show you. You kinda of saw this piece earlier, but let's try it. A little bit dry, really not sure if it's the way I cooked it or just not resting it long enough. It's tender as heck. Tastes great. All in all, pretty good. Next is the point slice. So, yeah, this looks pretty picture perfect. <sighs> all right. Mm, that was a lot better than the flat. After eating that, I think it was my cooking that dried out the flat because the point didn't rest either and that was pretty dang good. One thing I'll say is that it's really cold out here. After cutting this up and taking B-roll shots, the fat is starting to harden a little bit. So it was a little hard to kind of get my teeth through it. But in terms of flavor, smoke, seasoning, that was awesome. Okay, and now the final piece is the burnt end. My favorite part of the brisket. So let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Them like candy. Mm, so good. So definitely not bad for a first time brisket, but plenty of room to improve. And I'm very excited to keep practicing and getting better at this barbecue game. But anyways, if you like this cook, then make sure to watch my pork belly on an offset smoker video on your screen right now.